what kind of shenanigans am I up to today? So I have a ladder up in my backyard, and this is something I haven't ever done a video on, but it's been a science experiment that I started, I think about 10 years ago, maybe nine years ago. Uh, I was in my prior house in Scottsdale, Arizona, and had some 118 scaled die-cast model cars that I wasn't sure what to do with and decided just for kicks to put them on my rooftop to see if those paint finishes and interiors would weather the storms and elements so to speak just like a real car has to so here we are almost a decade later uh, five of the original six cars that I started out with are still up here so we're gonna go up on the rooftop and see what things are looking like today is August 3rd 2018 it's 109 degrees out currently neighbors are gonna see me and wonder what the heck I'm up to but they already know I'm crazy so whatever all right before I fall off the ladder uh, carefully there we go so here's the view from my rooftop there's the cars in the background you can see the line up there next to this um, outlet of some sort but let's get a closer look at what's in the uh, durability fleet today so this is the ultimate in nerdy science experiments but uh, there's not a whole lot of paint left on these I'll have to show some pictures of what they look like when I started but this Mercedes SL has completely lost its grill up front this side of the paint looks actually pretty decent. Of course, the plastics and tail lights are all weathered. The windshield is completely yellowed out. This one was donated by a friend. Oops. Maserati 3200 GT. Again, not much left of it. That paint is gone. Even the headlight, there's some... Uh, little bit of paint peeling on the driver's side. Which way did I have that? This way? The BMW 3 Series. This one I've had for probably 20 years since I was a kid. At some point I lost the passenger side headlight in a uh, windstorm. Every once in a while our monsoon thunderstorms will blow a door open and I'll have to reclose the door but if you can look at the interior, it's completely brown. It's almost like it's uh, melted a little bit. Let's take a look in the trunk. Probably just debris and garbage in there. Suspension isn't really working anymore. It does still roll, but that car has definitely not weathered very well. Let's take a look at another one. So here's my best survivor. This is a 57 Ford Thunderbird. If you notice, all of the paint is still intact somehow. I don't know what they were putting on this one from the manufacturing facility, but it still has all the paint. And dare I say, I think it might actually buff out. Let's get a closer look. Of course, the chrome needs to be redone. I almost thought it would be fun to restore one of these cars back to original condition. Let's see if we can get the hood up. This is my favorite part, looking at the engine bay. Let's check that out. Oh, come on. There we go. This is tougher than it looks to do with one hand. Look at the engine bay. So completely covered in dirt, almost like it would really be um, if it were a real car. The interior has some debris down on the floor pan. The trunk doesn't open on this one. White wall tires are now yellow. And last but not least, 57 Chevrolet Nomad. Again, this one uh, didn't retain any of its original turquoise paint, except I think there might be a little bit on the passenger side. There we go. Check that out. Because it's been mostly shaded on that side, it still looks pretty decent. But you can see the paint sort of started out with just a bubbling or chipping, and then it eventually 
eventually progress to take over the entire side. We'll pop the hood on this one. Sorry, there's a little bit of wind noise. There's your engine bay. A lot of dirt in this one. This definitely needs a full detail and restoration. So we'll put it back here, right where it was. Maybe leave it for another 10 years, who knows? Anyway, that's my little science experiment. Um, anybody out there ever done any similar, any uh, similar projects with die-cast model cars? Let me know. Let's see if I can get down now without causing an incident here. And we'll put the ladder away and come back in another couple years to see what's going on up there. Thanks for watching.